fella. Thought you had a job, big fella. Always with a girl, that's a 10, but you ain't got a dime, big fella. Think What's up, my personas? It's your boy Pickero, and today is time I, uh, uh, I open the vault. Now, this is a new series, so I might change up something in the future, so don't get comfortable to see, I might change it. Anyway, welcome to my new series on my channel where I talk about all the times I did something stupid, aka all the L's I took in life. <laughs> yeah, like I did dumb stuff. I was perfect as a retarded musical child. <laughs> anyway, the story starts after school, and fuck school, can't get amen. Where people kept calling me weak and pushing me around, hacking, you know, typical day at the girl school. Where if you sneeze wrong, people would belittle you. And me, the little fifth grader I was, thinking, if I show them how strong I was, they will lose, they will be too scared to mess with me anymore. Keep in mind, I'm in a black school, you know, for niggas, including me. Like, did I really think that fighting or trying to be, be like a thug version of Bruce Lee? Is gonna make me be any of a threat to these people, especially me as a fifth grader, like myself. Well, maybe I did correctly, you know, like buy an actual sandbag. But I digress. Moving on, I want to show how tough I am. So my dumb ass thought of the brilliant plan to record myself fighting a tree. Now, 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 now. Before the comments roll in, Demetrius. Demetrius, the fuck? Or Demetrius, what the hell are you high? And much as those rebels are accurate, no, I was not high, and no, I was exactly the same when I did what I did. It just, when you have someone who doesn't have any friends and be mostly bullied, even though people, people will give a nerve right now, and not in the best mindset, you are gonna do some dumb shit. <laughs> Continue the story. It's not what you think. I was actually trying to record my moves and show <laughs> my skills. <laughs> oh my god. In my head, it looked awesome. And I looked so cool in the video. But to known people, it was just a nigga flailing in a tree with Mortal Kombat sound and music. Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I was using the mass DVD music from this Kirby game called Kirby the Trip. Yeah, it's not Kirby the Trip. Kirby Trip Deluxe. Fun game. By the way, so I finished the video and the craziest thing happened. My finger was stuck on the send button. It's like my soul knew this was a bad idea, but here's what I said that changed my mind about the whole situation. Like the whole situation of me from the upload video, then the video, then that one thing that stopped me from doing it. It's amazing. Just, just listen. Eh, why do I care about what people think? Bing sent. Now here's my question to my past self, and I bet y'all had the same reaction. If that's the case, why did I do the video in the first place? Like it was so bad, like that people started sharing the video from another school. You know, you know you done messed up. It was, it was like another school that you that you sent off Facebook even gets the video and starts sharing it. Like, it don't make no sense. Like what the? F How did it spread that fast? My ten year old mind thought. And I forgot this is the internet. Even ever since that day, people would be like, "Hey, were you that dude who fought that tree?" But there was never a time, other than that time, when I wanted to shoot myself so badly, just get up Desert Eagle before they could even finish the sentence, and had the gun clock, and that's a wrap. But seriously, it was a long time ago, and if there is someone out there who still remembers th that to this day. It still gives me hell about it. Aw, you care about my life so much. But seriously, don't do what I did. I I did just so if you can... Wait, wait, wait. This is wrong. <laughs> but seriously, don't do what I did. Just, if you can, buy a sandbag so you don't look like a fool like I did. I mean, people probably still laugh at you. But at least you didn't fight a tree. You know the craziest thing happened after I fought that, after uh, I was fighting on that tree. Like after I fought that tree, that that video actually got like a hundred, a hundred likes, only because it was just that funny. 
So that it was amazing that video actually made me famous. But same time, is the reason why my life is a it's a pitiful dark void of hell. So uh, yeah, sometimes you can find the, the good and bad things. I mean, I mean, like you can say that I didn't lose that tree. I mean, it it it, it was a nice video. It was I don't know how to say that video. That was that was terrible. But but seriously, I didn't really fight the tree. It was just a means of me trying to show from the flex. And I flexed the wrong way, so it, so it really it wasn't. I wasn't trying to. I, it was no. I wasn't finding a tree. I just couldn't afford a sandbag at the time, and I thought, oh, um, a tree must be a good idea, which it really wasn't. It was like the worst idea of my life. I wish I could go back and change everything what I did, but I can't. But but uh, yeah, I didn't. But if you still think that I fight the tree, then by all means, it'll make you happy in life. You can think about that, but the truth is the truth. And <sighs> if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment on on the uh, what you, what you think about this story. Do you think it's stupid of me, or do you think I'm brave, whatever you think? Please comment. I'd like to see your comments. And uh, it, it, yeah, just stay on Facebook if you're gonna do some dumb shit like I did. Please do, because you will be happier. I promise you.